Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first bite sized talk of 2023. And I'm very, very happy to have uh, Sophia Stamuli present today uh, a new pipeline called NF Core Tax Profiler, which is soon to be released, I've heard. So uh, off to you, Sophia. Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, so I'm going to talk about. Uh, no, uh, NF Core Tax Profiler, uh, which is uh, using uh, the GitHub's uh, description, a performatics best practice analysis pipeline uh, for taxonomic classification and profiling of uh, shotgun metagenomic data. And in the talk today, I will briefly introduce uh, what is shotgun metagenomics, how the development of uh, tax profiler started. Uh, I will give an overview of NF Core Tax Profiler Pipeline and uh, how you can use and run the pipeline, as well as our upcoming uh, development uh, plans. Uh, so to start with, uh, what is shotgun metagenomics sequencing? Uh, I borrow the description from uh, Keen's paper from uh, 2017. That describes shotgun metagenomic uh, sequencing as the untargeted sequencing of all uh, microbial genomes present in a sample. And it allows uh, for the determination of the taxonomic uh, diversity in a sample. And uh, we may be looking uh, at bacteria, viruses, uh, fungi, archaea, uh, or combination of those uh, that are present in a sample. And uh, the development started uh, in February 2022 uh, by James uh, Fellows, Yates, and uh, Maurice Weber. And uh, we at Karolinska Institute uh, joined during uh, the online uh, hackathon in March. Uh, so, and with that, I would like to mention that this is uh, really a community based uh, development. And uh, there are a few NF Core uh, pipelines like Eager and MAG that support uh, some sort of taxonomic classification, uh, but they only support one classifier and uh, its classifier is tailored for uh, specific purposes with, and each one has its own uh, custom output format. So there was really a need to have a pipeline uh, that would uh, support taxonomic classification and profiling uh, of uh, metagenomic uh, reads against both multiple tools and uh, it's possible with uh, multiple databases. And uh, there are, uh, at the moment, uh, there are uh, a few examples of uh, how you can use uh, NF Core Tax Profiler. And some of those different contexts uh, is pathogen detection in clinical metagenomics. Uh, one can use for a comparative microbiome uh, diversity analysis, and as well as detection of food DNA from enzymed microbiome samples. But of course, those are not only limited to those. And this is uh, the overview of uh, how the pipeline looks like. And I will go into more details in the next slides. So to start with, uh, it supports uh, both short uh, reads and long reads. And uh, the first step is the sequencing quality control. Uh, right now, uh, FastQC is used uh, as a default, uh, but during Hackathon in uh, October in Barcelona, uh, Falco has uh, been added as a drop-in replacement uh, with supposedly uh, improvement, uh, for especially uh, for uh, long reads. So the user can really choose uh, yeah, between either FastQC or uh, Falco. Next, uh, we have the pre-processing steps. Uh, all of those uh, are optional and uh, up to the needs of uh, the user. And uh, we have dedicated uh, tools uh, for its uh, sequencing uh, technology. The first step is the adapter removal, uh, where uh, FastP and adapter removal is supported for short reads and ports up for long reads. And uh, then we uh, tax profiler allows uh, for removal of low, for, of low complexity reads uh, with BBDAC and PrintSec++ for short reads and fit long for uh, long reads. Uh, the user can also uh, choose uh, to remove uh, the host reads uh, using bow tie to aligner for short reads and minimap to for uh, long reads. 
And as a last step of uh, those pre-processing steps, uh, tax profiler allows of uh, concatenation of multiple uh, FASTQ uh, runs or libraries uh, of a sample. And the last uh, step of uh, tax profiler is, uh, of course, the taxonomic classification. Uh, right now, we support uh, nine uh, classifiers slash profilers uh, with uh, Kraken 2 being paired with Bracken, uh, Kraken Unique, uh, Metaflan uh, 3, Malt, Diamond, uh, Centrifuge, and Taizu, and MODUs. Uh, its uh, profiler can be executed uh, with uh, uh, multiple databases. Uh, it's uh, with their own settings. And each profiler has its own uh, output. And uh, because of that, that each profile classifier has its own uh, output uh, format, uh, tax profiler uh, supports uh, standardized and aggregated taxon count tables uh, with the help of uh, TaxPasta, uh, that is uh, a Python package, uh, and with Moritz uh, Beber is, lead is uh, leading the development. And it stands for taxonomic profile aggregation and standardization. And uh, I'm also, I added the link to the GitHub repository. And uh, this is, and in this slide, I'm going to talk about how TaxFasta um, uh, works. So here you can see an example of how the output of a uh, Kraken 2 classifier looks like. It has uh, six columns, uh, the percentage of uh, reads covered, a uh, number of reads covered, and number of reads assigned. Uh, this column here is the describes the taxonomic level. Uh, this one describes uh, the NCBI's uh, taxonomy ID, and this is uh, the uh, uh, scientific name of uh, its taxon. And this is how the uh, output uh, from Kaiju classifier looks like. It has five columns, uh, it also has header, and it is uh, very different from Kraken 2, and this is the case uh, for uh, all the different classifiers. So with TaxPasta, uh, we are really able to have a standardized output format for its uh, classifier, and the output uh, format looks like this. It has two columns. The first one is uh, describes the taxonomy ID, and uh, this column describes uh, the read counts. Um, and about how to run uh, the pipeline, uh, one would need uh, two input uh, sample sheets, uh, one describing uh, the FASTQ files and one describing the databases. Uh, regarding the sample sheet describing the FASTQ files, uh, this is uh, the format, how the uh, format looks like. Uh, the first is the one should describe a unique sample name. Uh, the user can uh, uh, add a run accession, uh, and uh, the user should also describe uh, the name of the sequencing platform as well as the path to the FASTQ files. And uh, regarding the sample sheet uh, uh, describing the databases, uh, there, this is uh, how it looks like. It is uh, four columns. Uh, this one is uh, the first column described. One should uh, give the name of uh, the classification uh, tool. Uh, here is a unique uh, name uh, based on the database. Uh, in this column, uh, the user can specify uh, the, par uh, the parameters that they would like to uh, use. And the fourth column describes uh, the path uh, to its uh, database. And uh, this and about tool one and tool two uh, in, the, in the argument here, uh, those can be replaced by its classifier or profiler that is desired by the user. And the last argument, uh, like this one, the perform step, uh, this can be replaced uh, by pre-processing or uh, pro post-processing steps. And um, about our future plans, uh, we would like to support uh, more taxonomic classifiers, particularly for long reads. Uh, we would like to add uh, an assignment validation step uh, by aligning matched reads uh, to identified um, uh, genomes. And we would like to add a workflow for database construction. 
Uh, but uh, before we go on uh, with uh, the implementation of uh, those um, uh, yeah, uh, plans, uh, please stay tuned for the first release uh, in January. And uh, with that, I would like to thank uh, James Fellows Yates in Germany and Moritz Beber in Denmark, uh, as well as my colleagues here in Sweden, Tanya Normark, Mavos, Jamie, Laurie Messilax, oh, and of course, all the collabor collabor collaborators uh, that contributed uh, with different classifiers and issues uh, in tax profiler. And uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to our Slack channel with uh, the uh, hashtag tax profiler. And uh, yeah, that's it. And I'm happy to answer any questions. Uh, thank you very much, Sophia. Uh, are there now any questions in the audience? So you can either write your questions in the chat or, or you can unmute, you, uh, unmute yourself. I allowed that now for anyone. If there are no questions at the moment, I actually have a question. I was wondering why there are so many of these um, profilers, because I mean, if there was one that actually would work properly, then you would only need this one. So. Uh, like, yeah, uh, the metagenomics field is uh, very broad and uh, with those classifiers, uh, they're based on different algorithms and uh, they cover uh, different uh, needs. Uh, and uh, right, they're so based... the, the final output that you have now, is that a uh, an average of what the different ones detect or... Uh, we have a different output uh, for each classifier, and uh, we have, with the help of TaxPasta, uh, we are able to have a standardized output uh, for each of those classifiers. Okay, but you will get a separate output for each classifier? Yes, yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you. At the moment, yeah. Um, then we have here uh, questions in the chat. Um, one is from Juan. Uh, do you have to download the, the databases manually? Uh, yes, uh, we do not support uh, it right now. Uh, it's in our future uh, plans, maybe to add a workflow for database construction, but the user has to do it uh, by themselves right now. And then a comment from James. I guess it is um, for the profiler question I had. Um, he says it's also a fun problem for computer scientists. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, are there any more questions? Um, it doesn't seem to be like. If there are questions later on, you can always reach out, as she mentioned, in the Slack channel for um, for Tax Profiler or also in the Bite Size channel. Um, otherwise, I would like to thank Sophia again for this great talk and, of course, also the uh, John Zuckerberg Initiative for funding these talks. And thank you very much, everyone, and I hope to see you next week. <laughs>